Hey everyone, this is Lonnie, and hope everyone had a great day so far, and I'm here to play some Seduce Me. If you want to do that, I won't stop you. <laughs> but well, I've decided I want to play a Tomo game. I never played one, and for those that wonder what an Otomo game is, it is mainly a game with um, female character, health character, and about uh, dating guys. Pretty much as Honeypop, but instead of the girls, it's the guys instead. And I decided after been playing a bit of Honeypop, and uh, made a couple of videos of it, and I'm gonna continue doing that, but I also want to felt like, why not play an Atoma game? Seriously, I never played one, so I felt it would be actually quite exciting to try that out. And honestly, I don't mind any good looking guys around here. And uh, so I asked on my tumble, because I know I have a couple of friends there, and uh, it was an anonymous uh, suggestion here, so... We're gonna see what this is gonna be like. I'm really curious to see, actually. This is a fiction interactive narrative. Any character resemblance to real life people are purely coincidental. Well, I think there is no, re I think there's no chance that they are similar to me. So, what should I go, main? Are you sure? No. Damn it! What happened? Ah, well, it was probably us. The, uh... but yes. What will our character be named? Well, I'm gonna go for hmm. Anna. Let's go for that. Enter! Very well, ahem. This game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment under the direction of Mike. 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 Michaela. I cannot pronounce that in. Uh, Michaela? Is that is how you pronounce it in English? Well, Michaela Laws and is powered by Ren P. Visual Novels Engine, which will hope you enjoy this story. I know I'll enjoy it since you'll be. Be in it all smooth, smooth. How do I click? How do I continue? Eric. Sorry? Fine, fine. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet. <laughs> my god, he had a sexy voice. Somewhere. Somewhere where? What the heck? Come on. Are they, are they murdering someone? Wanna try me, asshole? That's all. <laughs> Did you use, use a rocket launcher and miss? Whoops, I saved. Yeah, mine is good. Mine is about to save because I. Well, I Let's retreat for now. What is it? No kidding. Let's get out of here. That's right. You better run, you stupid punks. Stay out of our territory. Oh, really? <laughs> call it fate or call it coincidence. That one moment of violence started chain of events I will never forget. Really? Start with violence? This formula, created in the 70s, is one of the most important in the field of financial theory. It is used Doesn't to make calculate sense. the price of European style options and is widely used by option marketers. Though there are some discrepancies that are now corrected with the modern viewpoint. Hello! Yes! Is this uh, Anna? I just wanted to speak with you a bit. Okay. Hey, damn it! I could. Hey, wait! I'm safe again. I'm terrible sore, but I'm so clumsy. My fingers are like all over the place. Like, <laughs> uh, rainy. It's been a lot. Okay, maybe she doesn't have that voice. Rain. It's been a long time since we got a rain. Oh my God, cat! Why, Tifa? Why do you claw my feet like that? Gosh. Well, uh, I assume the character doesn't speak like that. But it's the season of a rain weather, so it's not exactly surprising. Personally, I love the sound of it. The way raindrops fell. The way the raindrops fell, like the soft tapping of fingers, it was soothing. Even looking at the droplets hit the glass of the window was strangely calm. Honestly, I like that too. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Why do you do that? You shabby ass cat. For this reason, I felt lucky for having a seat next to the window. Though I did spend more time staring outside than I did paying attention in class. Class? I haven't been schooled in years. The lecture in the class were pretty boring. Mr. Phillips, Mrs. Phillips' voice wasn't su was support support. What the heck is that for a word? Soporific, soporific. I just wanted to interview what she was saying. Soporific. This sounds like a Pokemon or something. I'm terrible sorry, but I my Eng my English is very bad sometimes. I don't even know what I'm trying to do there. 
And since it was the period right before lunch, all I could think about was doing other things in my free time. Who doesn't? Honestly, I didn't really care much for the econ You don't care about money, but I do! No. <laughs> sure, I had good grades in this class, but it, but it was only because... Uh, I mean, oh my god, I can't read. I'm terrible, sorry, I'm gonna... Uh. Honestly, I didn't really care much for economics. Sure, I had good grades in this class, but it was only because I read the textbook and did my assignments I had to. W only? Are you some sort of genius? I was only taking this class because it was mandatory. If I, if it were up to me, I would probably have taken another course. But, uh, okay. I guess, since it's about econo economics and all that and you don't like it, I guess we can't count on you. <laughs> Luckily, it was my senior year, so after this semester it will be the end of high school course forever. Thank God for that. What God? Obviously four. I didn't hate high school. It was kind of mundane of the days. It drifted on and it was there was no end to it. I honestly I feel like I'm kind of ruined the entire the character here with cuz I, I assume she doesn't sound like me. If she do then she's much prettier than I will ever be. The only thing I really enjoyed about going to school was meeting my friends and hanging out with them, but that was kind of it. In short, I was done with high school. What? Wasn't you doing high school just a moment ago? The start of the second semester brought a note of finality. 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 The start of the second semester. I mean, for fuck's sake! The start of the second semester brought a note for finality. I already had applied to many universities the semester prior, and I was expecting a reply sometime in the next month. <sighs> Yeah, storytelling is not my strongest suit, especially not in English. Even if I would love that. It seemed like the start of something new. Something that would change the world. That, it, that is, if things could change, I stare... Yep. Sorry! That is, if things could change, I stare at the faint outline of raindrops in the said, For now, I was stuck in this class. Miss Anderson. No! Johansson! Why do you click the wrong buttons?! Mr. Phillips raised voice interrupted my train of thought. Wasn't you on a train? I, I honestly... Did I misinterpret something? Because I had the idea that she was on a train. Maybe it's just me. Just when I was thinking about class, I quickly turned my head to face the teacher. Hopefully she didn't pick me just because she knew that I was spacing out. That was me usually in school, like... Uh, okay, that was, not, that was nothing, spacing. <laughs> oh, she looks so cute. Yes, ma'am. Would you care to name the equation I set up on the blackboard? Does Picatrix count? Oh, I think we about it in the textbook last night. It should be. I gotta say it before I answer. Why can't I? Because if it's wrong, I can just reload. Why can't I do that in real life? That would be so sweet. Like, we gotta save, and in case I'm doing. Then I can go do stupid things, and now I can just reload. Then again, I think actually the world would be quite a mess if we all could do that. The black, sh the black, sh the black Schulz model form. What is that a real thing? Or am I just that stupid? I don't know what that is. Very good as always, Miss Anderson. Yes, I'm happy. Miss Anderson knows the things that I, because I, I'm hopeless. Anderson, it, fo it followed me wherever I went. Most people didn't really know me by my first name, but I read my sure name. Is there a reason for it? Oh gosh, is that... Are you the daughter to the Matrix guy, Neo? Mr. Anderson. Oh gosh, no wonder she's awesome. No no doubt this owner was a trademark of the international, famous and philanthropic Anderson Family Toys. And because fun was my grandfather. Fam... Oh really? Toys? Okay, yeah, that sounds creepy. Susie, one of my best friends, turned around and probably gave me a punch to the shoulder. <laughs> Kick ass, oh my god, is she really that tall? I hope it's just the pictures are a bit low, because if she is that tall, compare... And the teacher is enormous, so I'm assuming uh, Miss Anderson, uh, well, Anna is sitting down, or she's uh, just very short. Oh well. Kick ass girl, can, yes, they can be short as well. From beside, we heard... Eh? From beside me, I heard Naomi, another one of my best friends, clearing her throat in an obviously disapproval of Super's choice of words. <clears throat> she means good job. But kick ass is a good thing. I mean, you're kicking ass. Good job is also good, but... Oh. Miss Capini. Capini? That sounds like a bag, you know? One of the, one of the nice what? bags. 
Care to tell me who the creators of this formula were? <laughs> the teacher looked like, oh yeah, no. Uh, some guys named Black and Shoals? <laughs> that is what I would have said. <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Shoals. They did what do I do? Oh, well, I might as well save. Very good, Miss Patterson. How about that? So Show off. But she was right, right? Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. Damn it! Well, as. Uh, yeah? So, Su uh, Susu. Can it remind me I actually have an original character named Susu? Yes, well. Susu rolled her eyes and slou slouched into a chair as Naomi gave her a small smirk. <laughs> okay, that was a small. She always pouted when Naomi shoved her up. Huh? That's the end of today's lecture. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your projects. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. Oh, now it's a little bit music as well, so I'm happy. Before I knew it, Susan and Noma had skewed their disc line with mine. We turned into the free musketeer. <laughs> I love that idea. Who's D'Artagnan? Then again, actually, that is quite sad thing, the Musketeers, because uh, I read the original book by Dumas. I don't remember his first name, but uh, I, can, uh, I can assure you that the Three Musketeers, they weren't the Three Musketeers in the end of that book, so... I just... I just say... Whenever the teacher let the students decide on groups, we always grouped together in a little trio. It was a sheer struggle like that we all managed to be in the same class, so we had to at least take the opportunity and stick together as much as we could. Of course, that is honestly that what I would do as well. Because we are most comfortable around each other than say compared to being around any other classmate. It just made sense for us to put our heads together for any kind of project. And they become the Cerberus, the Freehand and Dog, or the Hydra. I took out the poster we were working on and rolled it open on free disc. Uh, what? We were to we were to much finished with the fulfilling most of the guidelines for the project, though we still had to add a few finishing touches here and there. Really? All the work and the making proposal are a bit prettier. We sat back and inspected our work to see what we still had to do. Naomi, as usual, was the first look from, for any issue. She slightly tapped the pencil against her shin, starting intent with the project. Alright, so let's see. We finished the budgeting section, the building leasing, and the cost for labor. What else do we need? A gaming room! Where we can hang out and play games. Just say. Susie straight up to look at the poster, stroke her chin. Oh, really? After a few seconds, her face brightened up and she spoke I'll up. What a company name? She looks so me. <laughs> I like her. Huh? Did we really skip over that? <laughs> oh, they got to kill us that. Of course we did. You always go straight into the logical statistics and stuff that you completely skip over the fact. We need a name for our project. Honestly, in that way, I think that logical statistics and things like that is very important, though. Ugh, at least we caught it this time. What do we name it? Pokemon Shebang! Not? Hmm, not sure. What do you think? It always came down to me. Whenever there was something to be named or title, I was a master in ending decision, even when I didn't want to be. But that is silly, if I could... Okay, the only thing you need to think of is coming up with titles. Well, I can live with that. Then again, uh, things would have probably had the most serious name ever, whatever. I like Trinity Corporations. That is way too predictable. How about the Dragon Company? Roar! I like dragons. What do dragons have to do with our project? What? It's a totally unpredictable name. It's hot. Literally, because dragons can spit fire. I don't know if she actually thought of that, but... <laughs> but our company sells bubble gum. Dragon bubbles? We said we can't produce spicy bubble gum. It doesn't need to be spicy, but it looks... It should look like fireballs when they're like... When they're blowing up bubbles and they explode like... <laughs> Maybe some uh, sort of methane ga gas in the bubble. Okay, yeah. <sighs> what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Both of them looked at me expectantly, even though I wasn't quite sure myself. I didn't really want to sh shoot side, but if it was three, I would say. <laughs> I get 
the design and obviously I will go with a dragon company. Booyah! Dragon company it is. <laughs> Alright, now that we've decided on a name, now what? Now we go home and have a s good day. And we end our name game at Google's a Google Strength <laughs> Scrap My Falls? What? Lisette? Who is it? It's just Lisette. Can't the same name as one of my cousins. I look at my shoulder to see her laughing with her circle of friends. Mostly comprised of popular people that were practical friends with everyone in that school. Well, how about that? And the result everyone in the school knew them. In the center of it all was L Lisette White. She said that. She said with a poster that indicated she was still working, but that she also was read a casual chat about her day. Well, they can't. Co they can never conquer against our Dragon Bubblegum Company. She had an endearing balance of charismatic and awkward, which was really apparent when she first talked so well. It was easy to make her smile and laugh, and she was quite a comedian as well. But that sounds nice. Basically, she was perfect. No one is perfect. They can still be very lovely. Not that she was like a robot or something, but she was a student that everyone else wanted to be. They said it was bright, easygoing, and above all, ha had her future laid out right in front of her. On the desk? How about that? Unlike the average student, she knew that what she wanted to do after high school, and as a result, she was confident and ambitious, though sometimes it could rub a lot of people the wrong way. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Moreover, I had known her ever since I was young, but it had ultimately resulted in a rivalry that continued today. Rivalry? What? Is that like in Naruto and Sasuke? Thing? My. Of course, my. I bet she is blonde, right? At least that uh, girl. I was gonna say dude, but uh, do that. Of course, my friend knew what was between us, and upon seeing me glance at her, they shifted their attention to her. She doesn't even look like she's working, in my opinion. She probably is. But she's too much of a stuck-up priss to allow herself to look like she's actually doing work. What? Oh, come on, Suzu. She may be a little off-putting, but she's not the giant priss that you're making her seem to be. I'm terrible sorry about myself for what's calling. The day she isn't a priss is the day I turn into you. A giant Amazon with a ribbon in her? Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Ain't that a good thing? Never mind. It's about time! Let's bail! Escape the edges! Whoa, she was fast! <laughs> I was surprised that Susan was the first out of the classroom, sling her backpack over the shoulder with ease and to quickly stroll out of the room. Strolled? She was like fucking night crawling, she was almost teleporting! Her seat isn't even closest to the exit and she always manages to be the first one out of the door. I don't think I'll ever understand that. You never understand, Nina. Ooh, I get. Uh, I believe I was about to get her out there. Yes! Or that. That way. Well, let's go for that. Now I'm full of her arms close to her chest, giving me a disappointed look. I'm terrible, sorry, but I just trying to be me! Okay, mate. Okay, okay. Maybe not me, because. Uh, yeah. I will. Oh, not you, too. She's turning you into a delinquent. Oh, yes. Let's go, man. Let's go out. Let's go in a video fight. First round to fall, loses. It's a joke, Naomi. <laughs> well, it's not really funny. Oh, come on. I, want to, I don't want to say it, but you look cute when you're angry. Man, you guys are slow. Are you coming or what? You have, do you have any idea how slow I actually am? We heard you the first time. Not everyone has rocket boosters attached to their legs when the bell rings. But I can assure you some people do have their rocket boost up the ass when there is a bad stomach flu going around. I can maybe I shouldn't just talk about that here. Are you kidding me? That class was ridiculously boring. Even Miss Valedictorian here was dozing off a bit. Valedictorian? Who the heck is that? I do Oh is that me? Well okay. V Valedictorian. Valedictoria why is something like that? I do admit, I was spacing out. Yeah, I completely undo that all the whole time. And that's because I answer one question doesn't mean I'm automatically the valedictorian. What is that? Valedictorian. Valedictorian. That sounds like a fancy last name. Should, ain't that something with like uh, deciding uh, the, the words and what they are meaning and things like that, right? Okay, so it wasn't too interesting. 
But you should at least pay attention when Phillips is talking about the important parts. What important parts? Please, don't call me by my last name. Damn it, I accidentally double tapped! Classroom. Never in a million years will we ever see things eye to eye. But I accidentally- What did you say?! Damn it! <laughs> Despite this, the both birds out laughed. It. Normally, anyone would think that opposite like them wouldn't even associate with each other. But even though they were so different, the friendship somehow made a lot of sense. That makes me really happy! Maybe they were just perfect compliments, or personality just didn't dictate the possibility of their friendship. Nothing can destroy! Yeah. After all, we three had been the best friends since preschool. All right, so where are we heading to first? Cafeteria? I think we can all agree that we're really fun. Cafeteria! Hungry, especially after hearing about our company's line of deliciously spicy bubblegum. Mm -hmm. Who would even buy that? I wonder. People are buying guns! Do you, don't you really think people will buy a spicy bubblegum that allows them to shoot fireballs? I should be in marketing, just saying. Me? I would pay good money to get a taste. See? She had the right mind, or the right opportunist. You do like spicy food after all. But well, I entered the cafeteria, but I will cut this video for now, but I will be back with more Seduce Me the Otome game, that for sure. So thank you all for watching so far. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, like for more, because there will be more of this and many other games, of course. And it means super much to me. So see you all later on, and have a continued super great day.